had an officer who tried to stop a vehicle and suspects thought it would be a good idea to run and not only run, start shooting at the deputies. Um, we're not going to tolerate that here. I'm just going to let you all know that we are not going to tolerate that business at all. Uh, we're very fortunate that no one was hurt. Uh, the officers didn't receive any injuries, and neither did the suspects for that matter. Um, we would like to arrest people without all that. We truly would. But we stand ready and trained. If they're going to act that way, we're going to respond appropriately. So I want you to know that. We have a couple of young men. Uh, one is in custody, and uh, we have one we're still looking for. Um, and I need to get this young man in jail. Now, the family can bring him. A f friend can bring him. I don't care. But we're going to find him, and we're going to take him into custody. I hope, and my prayer is it's very peaceful, uh, but that's really truly up to him. We know that he will shoot at us, so we're going to be prepared accordingly. Um, this young man, uh, Antonio Moore, uh, that I'm fixing to show you the picture of, he has several warrants on him. Uh, he is in our, in our detention center now. Um, three attempted murder, assault and attempted murder on police officers. Failed to stop for a blue light and one for discharging a firearm out of a vehicle. This is a young man right here. Um, and tips did come in to help us find him. So uh, all you that called, and you know, probably out of care for this gentleman here, we took him under, or put him under arrest with no incident, which that's what we wanted. Uh, this young man right here, I'm, I very seldom do I put a juvenile on the news, but uh, he wants to act like a, an adult, so his name is Shayla Giovanni Norman. Uh, Shayla Giovanni Norman. The same charges are placed on him that's on Antonio Moore. We've tried to find him. Uh, don't know where he is, obviously. Uh, we need your help to find him. Now, if you know him, you know, I'm totally good with you bringing him down to the detention center and let him turn himself in, okay? Because he's been charged an as an adult because he's wanting to act like one. We, uh, we're very thankful that the good Lord didn't allow any of our deputies to get killed because it, it was a very serious situation. Our guys were doing their job. They weren't picking on anyone. It wasn't any of that stuff. We were doing our job. Um, as we're going to continue to do. So we need the public's help in finding this young man. Uh, if his parents are listening or his family, turn him in. I'm fine. We don't have to come out to the house or find him and arrest him. That's, yeah, that's not the point. The point is he um, is off the chain. I'm just going to let you know. He's shooting at deputies while in a moving vehicle with an SKS and another 40 and a 45. And we're prepared, and we're not going to tolerate it. So please get this young man to safety. Take him to the detention center. Um, him and his lawyer can show up. I really don't care. But he's going to be put in custody as soon as we find him. And um, my prayer truly is that he gives up, uh, calls in and says, hey, I don't want no more of this. And that's fine. You know, we'll, uh, we'll go pick him up very casually and take him on in. And um, I just need, I need the family or the friends that know this young man right here. Something's causing him to do this. I don't know. I don't know him. Uh, but uh, we would like for him to be in custody like tonight if we could get it to happen. So I'll try to answer questions if I can. Uh, it was a suspected stolen vehicle. And, um, and instead of us being able to just check paperwork and let them go on about their business, they started running. Um, was driving very erratically and high rate of speed, endangering the public and the officers, and that's when the shooting started. It started on Giles Drive up in Bowling Springs, and it ended over here on Successful Way. As far as the juvenile, can you go into, um, can you say how old he is? And then he's 16 he's years 16, old. And then if, did he, do you know if he grew up around the area? Or if they might have I think he's from here. Yeah, I think he's from actually the city of Spartanburg. Um, you know, but when we've asked for help before, moms and cousins and uncles have heard our plea and has helped us, and that's what we want. We want him. We just want him in custody. We do not want him hurt. Um, obviously, we don't. We just don't want to hurt anybody. But we are law enforcement, and we're not going to be shot at and stand around about it. I'm just going to let you know that. Well, 
these men uh, acted very bravely by continuing the pursuit even the shots had been fired. Um, obviously, they made a decision that, okay, if they're going to shoot at us, they'll probably shoot at other people who are not armed. So they put themselves in harm's way anyway. I keep saying that over and over, and they really did. You know, they were very brave, actually, to go c continue to chase this car when their vehicles were getting hit by rounds. Um, I've been shot at before. It's no fun. You can hide behind small things, or you think you can anyway, when you're getting shot at. So, you know, it's, um, it's a tough thing. So, you know, we, we, we really don't care to do all that stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm not up here making any threats, so I don't want anybody to hear that. Uh, but I am going to warn everybody that's listening to this newscast, you are not going to do that to our officers. Can you just show the suspect um, mug shots again? Well, this is, this is the best one we have for the juvenile here. Okay? This is the young man that we have in custody. So, you know, we're, we're thankful he came into custody. Um, our officers arrested him, and we did not hurt him, by the way. So if you all want to hear that, I mean, ask him. He, he can tell you we didn't, didn't harm him. We just put handcuffs on him and took him to jail. Um, that's what we want to do to this guy here. That's all. He's got to answer for the charges. You know, he, he made a really bad choice. What was Santana you know, picked up at? He was picked, over, uh, picked up over in the Welford area. I can't answer that about them. I guess Kevin can send that out to you. I cannot talk about his because he's a juvenile. The only reason I'm talking about him now is because he's been charged in a, as an adult. Can you give us the name and the spelling of the juvenile again? We're going to send that all out to you. Okay. Uh, but, but heck yeah, I'm, I'm glad to do it right now. I want nobody to misrepresent what I'm saying here. So it's Shayla, S-H-E, apostrophe L-A-H. Shayla Giovanni, G-I-O-V-A-N-N-I, -N -N and then common spelling on Norman, M-O-R-M-A-N. So he's, he's got people here in Spartanburg that love and care about him. And uh, you know, that's what makes um, the public appeals work, is because his aunt and uncles and grandma, mama, and dad, they don't want him hurt, and we don't either. So bring him to us, please. Bring him to the jail. Um, I could care less if you call the news crew when you bring him. Don't matter to me. Just get him down here and let's get him get him straightened out. Okay? He's he's in trouble. He's been doing more than this, and we need to you to try to reach out to him and get him get him before it's too late. Okay? I've answered about all I can, but I, I do want to reiterate, uh, we're grateful to God Almighty that nobody got hurt, including these guys. We don't want to hurt them, but we're not not going to take that kind of behavior. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. Have a great day.